Good morning. Today is the day I'm cutting my locks. All right, let me try to look a little bit more decent and I'll be back. All right, so it is 9 12 right now, and my appointment is at 12 noon. So I am just getting ready, do some work before I leave. And then I will head to my appointment. And today I'm going to see Dion. Haven't been to Dion in a while. Looking forward to catching up with her. Yeah, I appreciate Dion because I know she's going to be patient with me. And that was extremely important. This is a big decision. And yeah, I just didn't want to feel rushed or that I was a bother or that somebody was just going to throw me out of the chair because I watched some videos of, um, you know, people cutting their locks and they were very helpful. Saw so in more than one video where, you know, they took all this time to grow out their hair, to have new growth, and then went to the barber and the barber didn't listen to anything they said and basically cut off their hair one lady in particular I mean her hair came out cute but if it's not what you want it's not what you want I just know me and I told Dion listen I, I'm fine with paying you for your time so that is not an issue so she blocked out two time slots for me like if I want to sit in the chair and stare at my head so we can figure out what we're going to do like give me time to do that I didn't want to feel like rushed out of the chair. In preparation for having a short do, I bought some products. I bought a different eyebrow pencil. Um, so I'll be trying that out. And so I bought eyelashes, but they're, you put them on with magnetic mascara. Yeah, we'll be trying that out. And I'll let you know how that goes because I can only put them on someone else, which I can put them on my daughter when she does dance. Check out this video here when I did her dance makeup. So I'm gonna show you what I have on today. All right, so here is what I have on today. I'm in my husband's closet, shh, don't tell him. And I wanna say I got this from, might be Burley? Burlington or, or Ross or something like I just kind of was walking down the aisle and and saw it like I know it's not something that I look out for but when I see like cute flowy like, like this, this is so me I just want cute and comfy just threw it on with some sandals and um I want to say I got this from uh what was it called like paparazzi these may have come from my friend and past client Michelle um the Zosa shop um, I'll put their information down below, but um, I know this one definitely came from paparazzi. Yeah, I think. But um, yeah, just want to be, just want to be comfortable today. Just want to be chill and relaxed. Take three, because first it was the AC wouldn't let me be great. Then it was a GPS wouldn't let me be great. But yes, guys, we are in route. It's time. It is time and I'm nervous. Like I've been like nervous like all morning. Like like nervous, nervous, like stomach nervous all morning, which is like weird because well on one hand it's like okay, it's it's here. You're just getting the, your hair done. But on the other hand, like this has been kind of a security blanket for me. Like it's like an accessory, a permanent accessory that this is gonna be like it's gonna be weird like I have not had short hair I remember 16 17 I had shade back and like perm short do um and then the closest I've come to having short hair being loose natural was when I combed out my dreads and you know went loose natural and my shrinkage is like on 90 95 percent like it just like padded into like a really short fro i kind of got an idea of yeah i didn't even really get an idea but i yeah i wasn't brave enough to rock my hair like that so this is big y'all this is big like whoo but it's 
that nervous, but I'm looking forward to it. Feel looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Feeling yes, yes. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. And if you guys haven't checked out the video that I did on lip for lips, this is that mango coconut that I had in the um, video. Um, yeah, check it out. Black owned, sister owned, veteran owned. Um, natural lip balm and it is look how big it is size of your palm and I love it oh and then my barber she texted me and said she came in just for me today she said I gotta see this <laughs> listen that tickled me so like even she is in disbelief that this is happening like I got to see this like she's the one doing it and she's like I got to see this because even when I called her and told her you know I'm coming in for a cut like it took her a while to grasp that I meant like a cut a cut like it was all coming off yes like I'm gonna make a comparison and I know this cannot be any but like if I feel like this going to this appointment I can't imagine how people feel when they have to turn themselves in to like you know to serve jail time like they tell them like here's your sentence you got to turn yourself in in a week like golly like that you just that anticipation leading up to it i'm not built for that life i watch power and i have heart palpitations so i just know i am not built for that life uh but i'm digressing anyway i'll check back in a few way more nervous than i really need to be Oh, well, I'm hoping I'm way more nervous than I need to be. You ready for this? I'm ready. <laughs> started my forehead. I got this forehead. Yeah, grow over it. It wasn't going to look like right now. But. Let me tell you. So it cuts again. It's still going to look good. Yeah, you shave your sides? In the back? When? I told you that. I know you said you. See, I passed it off to you. Now you won't carry the torch. There you go. You guys can't see my face under this, but oh my gosh. <laughs>
I'm getting special treatment today. I get the shampoo. Oh. <laughs> you gotta lean, sit back though. I don't know if it's just because it's out of chair. Like that? Oh my gosh. Bring it out even more, but I just went and do it because of the chemical and the weakness that's right here. You made it through. Surprise. I was, I was looking for a show. Like a phone? I did it. It's done. I feel naked. I feel light. Y'all, I don't know if I'm gonna be growing back hair on my head. I just, I just don't know. Like I want this to grow, but I don't know. I don't know. It's going to take me a while to get used to it. My son says, oh, it looks good. You don't have a big head. My husband said, okay, good thing you got a pretty face. Okay. But everybody loves it. My daughters love it. I'm getting compliments. I do feel naked though, guys. I do feel naked and it's gonna take a while to get used to it, but I cannot wait to go in the shower and just let the water run on my head. But my barber was like, it's a good thing that I um, did it because I already knew it, I felt it. I had a situation going on up in there and I used to feel the tension with the locks and I felt it was weak and getting spacey in there so they needed to come come out so yeah i am going to color it at some point she didn't feel like it was a good idea to do it today because my hair is weak we kept it like this she didn't take it down to the shortest part up in there so she was like give it a chance to like catch up like but like there's no consistency in its length like i'm probably gonna go in and cut this a little bit like like once it gets patted down like whatever so yes, guys, thank you for rocking with me. 
when I had my locks. If you're not gonna rock with me anymore, it's been real. But yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna uh, I guess, make videos about life. The life after locks. I may have a series for life after locks. I feel like I look older. I don't really like that. I like the side look. I don't like the boxy look. So hopefully like, just like, I don't know. I'm gonna get used to it. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for coming along with me today. My barber said I did better than she thought. Um, I guess she thought I was gonna act a fool. I don't know if she thought I was gonna fall out and cry. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. All right, so please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Yes, please still subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment box below. I will see you guys. Oh, she did mention that I shouldn't use the sponge on my hair a lot um, because it would make, it, it would contribute to I guess if you use it a, a lot, that it makes your hair weak too. So I'm gonna be mindful of that. And I'm gonna try and like wash and go and just put product on it, at least in this top part and then sponge the sides because I really don't, I don't really plan on growing out the sides. All right, I'm out of here. Peace. Have a positive, peaceful and productive day. Today's day two and this is what I got. I have more definition today because I put in more product and use my sponge and um, yeah, I like I like it with more definition. Before I could get away without putting on eyebrows every if I wasn't really doing anything or really going out, I eyebrows are going to be a absolute must now. But yeah. And I have to give a shout out and I want to record this, so I'll always remember it. A shout out to my family. Thank God for a support system. Because prior to cutting my hair, like my girls and my mom, you know, they were so encouraging. Like, they were like, yeah, mommy, we could see you with your hair like that. And my mom kept telling me, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Just make sure you put in hoop earrings. Just make sure you put in hoop earrings. That's her thing. Just make sure you put in hoop earrings. Yesterday, on the way to get my hair cut, I was telling my husband, like, yeah, I'm nervous for some reason, such and such. And he was like, man, you cut your hair before. Like, you're going to be good. Like, like he was just, you know, reassuring. And then, so after I got my hair cut, my seven-year-old daughter FaceTimed me. And I answered. And she was like, mommy, you look so good. Like, they're, they're just the best. They are just the best. And then when I picked up my older daughter from dance she was like oh mommy and then when I got home everybody was just love oh and also my mother-in-law is here and she was like I came looking for you I came looking for you so when she saw my hair she was like yeah you look younger and you know I feel like I look older she was like no you look younger so like everybody like just just love then my sister I sent her a picture of like just my locks and she was like why are they not attached to your head? And then later on, I sent her um, a picture of my hair. And she was like, you know, I actually like it. Uh, she's like, I just got to get used to it. So, you know, it really does help when you're making such a big change and one that you're already unsure of to have people that are supportive. Because I don't know if y'all ever had this, but I know I've, I've done it to where I've like done a hairstyle or done something and the YouTube was just like crickets. Like nobody said anything. I was like, yeah, this probably is not hitting on nothing. And that makes me wonder like, if it didn't look good or if they didn't like it, if I came home, they would have been like, like would they have not said anything? Um, but yeah, and, and I'm just sharing because it's really sweet to me and it it does help when the people around you are supportive um but it's not always going to be that way so that may be something that you have to prepare for too that everybody's not going to feel your decision and if they don't feel your decision because i'm prepared for that too like why'd you cut your hair and such and such and such like whatever like this is me like i wanted to do it and i don't like it is what it is so be comfortable and confident in your decision regardless if anybody else likes it but like my home team loves it so 
anybody on outside is like whatever but even if home team didn't like it like i needed to be confident within myself anyway that's my little two cents and um, i hope that was helpful and i will see you guys later